Good evening. Hey, Benjamin. Hey. I am ready. Okay, that's good. How are you today? Oh, fine. Okay. Fine, that's thank you. Good. How was the day? Good, no problem. No problem with the range. No, no problem. Oh, okay, good. Okay, we have Eva. Who's Eva? How are you, Eva? First, I have Javier. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? All right, great, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. How was the day for you? Good. good no problem. Good, okay, that's no nice. No problem. The rain, no. No problem with the rain. No. Thank God. Okay, so today we have, uh, let's check. This is the, the video that we watched last night, okay? This is like a, for you to remember, okay? What is your neighborhood like? Peter, what is neighborhood? Neighborhood is the, like the colony where you live. Okay, Miramonte neighborhood. Okay, Los Santos, uh, let's say Escalon neighborhood. Okay, it's, it's a group of houses. Okay, we say in Spanish, we say colony. Okay, but uh, in English is neighborhood. Oh, okay. is, is the group of houses that belong to the same, uh, let's say, to the same uh, place, right? For example, what is the name of the colony where you live? Um, a colony. Uh -huh. That's the neighborhood. Uh -huh. What's the name of the neighborhood? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And then say that. Las Flores, okay, Los Santos. Uh, Those are the names. Uh, uh, I, don't, that, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember the name, the name of your neighborhood? Es que hace poco me vine a vivir acá y como no soy de Zacate. It's okay, no problem. Okay, we have, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Just to share the sound. Okay, here. Okay, so that is a neighborhood, right? What is your neighborhood like? It's like the description, right? The description of your place. Okay, just let me, because this one want to just one detail. Okay, here. Now, here Hi, we go. We're now in section three. 
What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Well, that's a nice present. Okay, listen again for pronunciation and vocabulary. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Hmm. Any questions about vocabulary for... For you to know something that you need to reinforce, remember. Laurelie. Be sure. Yes, Benjamin. Um, why? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, be sure. Uh, why the the um, la, la palabra, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. The, the um, word, the word. The word, the word. Eh, does eh, not is, is this. Here. Dos. Dos. No se puede decir this. Mm, depends. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let me see. Okay. We have that. So that does. And then singular. No, wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm not gonna use the chat. I'm going to use this one. Okay, you say that, okay, when something is singular. Okay, singular. And is far from you. Okay. Far is the distance. If you see, for example, uh, in this case, Maria is touching the earrings. And then she uses these, is, then here we use plural, near, near from, Okay, this is esta cerca de ella, right? Something that you can touch. In plural, you say this, and something that you cannot touch. In plural, plural is far. 
from you. Okay, and this is it. And this one is this. Equal singular near from you. Okay, so they have a, in this case, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, we have to use if it is singular, that or this, that or this. If it is plural, these or those. Okay, if the distance, if the distance is, for example, if you see, in my case, I can touch, I can touch the curtain, right? And then I say this curtain, because I can touch, this is only one. This curtain is light blue. This, okay? This. Singular. Porque está cerca. Uh -huh. And if I use the two, I use the plural. This, because I can touch these uh, curtains are light blue and brown. Okay? Only one, this. If I yes. use the plural, these. Okay, this. Is mm -hmm. um, Spanish? Este, I don't know. In Spanish, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> 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 it's okay. Now, in this one, when you say this, este o esta. Uh -huh. Right? And when you say these, estos o estas. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you see, for example, I cannot, I cannot touch that. Okay, la distancia, I cannot touch. Look, that mirror, that mirror, then I use this one, singular. That mirror. Okay, that mirror is a small. Aquel, ese, esa, aquella, right? Say that. But I, can, I cannot touch. Okay, different, the curtain. This curtain is brown. Okay, you can see here this and that. Yes? And if you have those, and then, for example, it's in plural, and then you can say, for example, okay, those, uh, let me see here. And I don't have another mirror. Then something that you can touch, you can say, supónganse que son dos espejos, I would say those mirrors. Okay, those mirrors. Then I would use plural. Okay, so then that's, that's why you call them demonstrative pronouns because we use para demostrar algo, ese, aquel, aquello, aquellos, okay, that's right. But it has to do with plural, singular, and the distance. If, if I can touch, is this and these. Okay. If I can, okay. if I can touch this and this, if I cannot touch, then you're gonna use that. That. Okay, and those. Okay, that and those far distance. Okay. When you go and say, hey, that house, that uh -huh. girl, that man, that boy, okay? And then if you have here, say, oh, this is my boy, this is my girl, okay? Questions, people? No problem. Any questions, people? Mm. Those, these, look at this, those earrings. Uh -huh. Okay, good. That's why in this case, if you see, for example, as Steve said, those earrings, because he's not, he's not touching. And 
Maria says these these red ones, and she's touching the red ones here. Contact. Okay. These that that necklace he's not touching. Okay, that necklace. Okay, so then you can say that these and those. Okay. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. There you I go. Am, I am understand. You understand now? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Then we have here this, this, that, those to express possible chase, chances, choices. Now listen to another explanation about this and that. Here, you have demonstrative one and ones. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's forty-two dollars. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're eighteen dollars. Prices: forty-two dollars. Fifty-nine ninety-five, or fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four: this, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The word one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers and they replace the noun in question. By the end of this lesson, participants... Okay, now listen again and pay attention when they are explaining the part of one and ones, okay? Then we can discuss it. We'll be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. This is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's forty-two dollars. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're eighteen dollars. Prices: forty-two dollars. Fifty-nine ninety-five or. $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. 
that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay. So this is the part, right? One and ones. We use one and ones when talking about choosing or having more than one option. No option. Okay. okay. Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? Okay. The red one. Okay. Remember, uh, I told you yesterday also, for example, if you say, is a uh, show your hand. Show me your hand. Okay. Then you say, which one? Which hand? The left one or the right hand? Uh -huh, the right one. Instead of hand, we say one. Only in the question we say, show me, or in the phrase, show me your hand. Okay, show me which one, which hand? The left one or the right one? We say the right one, okay? They say here, the right one. Okay, so remember that one will substitute the noun that we use in the question, okay? Good? In this case, we cannot use that, this, because it's in, in the screen, but we can use the word, for example, verbs here show me, touch, okay? Is, for example, touch your, if I say, Arely, touch your, remember this one, touch your eye, one, touch your eye. Which one? Which one, uh huh? The, uh, the left. The left? Or the, the left one. The left one or the right one. Uh huh, okay. The left one. The left one. Okay, the left one. And they say, okay, and then you touch your left eye. Okay? So you see, for example, this is touch. Then you can use the left one or the right one. Okay, good. Let me see here. Teacher, yes. when you use expression in two hands, mm -hmm. I say um, hands one. No, in that case, mm, uh, remember that when you say, show me your hands, there is no option. Okay, and remember that we use we use one and ones when talking about choosing or having more options. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh, but when you say show me your hands, okay, here. Ah, uh, no only option. When uh, choose. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, for example, uh, uh, let's say uh, let's go to let's go to a restaurant, Arely. Yes. Okay. Then you say, which? Um, which uh, one? Uh huh. Or I say, let's eat pizza. The, let's uh -huh. eat pizza. Okay, good. Which one? Okay. okay uh, the pizza Hut mm -hmm. one? In that case, you don't say, you say, uh, you say, in that case, you don't say, which one? I say, it's a hat. Okay. Only in the, when you choose the restaurant. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because which one? 
And then after you say Pizza Hut. Mm. Okay. okay. And then you say that, that one. Okay. What else? The rest of the people, Tamara, Leslie, Romeo, no questions? No. No? No okay. question, teacher. Eva, no problem? Oh. Get it done. Okay, good. So then let's see an exercise. Juice in this. Okay, um, Leslie, can you read the instructions here, please? Look at the future battery and complete this conversation using demonstratives once, once. One or once, okay, once. good. It's very small. Okay, this one looks more or less. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, here you see the girl, this lady, you know, asking for some clothes. This guy is asking for some backpacks, okay? And there are some questions here. And then it says, excuse me, these are jeans. Say, excuse me, how much? Then we have options here. It, are these jeans? Are those jeans? Is those jeans? Now, in this case, this is the clerk, is the la vendedora, right? The clerk. And this is the client, the customer. Okay, then this lady says, excuse me, how much are these or are those? Or are is those? those. Are, are those, are these? Are these? Is she touching? Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. Are those? Are those? Okay, and then the other lady says, "Which ones? Which one or which are?" Ones. Ones because it's plural, right? Ones. Talking about the genes. Okay, and then she says, "Which ones? Do you mean Which? this?" And then the lady says, no, the light blue? Ones. Ones. Okay, talking about plural. That's correct, right? The blue ones. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The blue ones. You say, no, the blue ones. And then the lady says, oh. They are. Uh -huh, because it's plural. They. They. Uh -huh, talking about you, they are 59.95. Okay, this is the conversation uh, with the ladies. Now look at the boy, the man. Okay, he's talking to the same lady. Now this lady is here. Talking about the backpacks. Okay, and the man says, I like that, that backpack over there. How much? Is. It's only one, singular, is. correct. Okay, this is important, right? Remember, how much is it? Singular. How much are those jeans? How much? You can say how much are those jeans, or how much are these jeans, or how much are the jeans? Because, but this is plural. This is singular. Which one? The red? One. One. The red one, okay? See that when you remember the sequence, then it's not, it's not necessary to see the picture, right? They say, which one? The red one. He's pointing to the red one. 
and then it says it's twenty seven fifty, but the green one 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 mm -hmm, is singular, but the green one is only twenty two twenty five. Um. Okay, so that's the one. Okay, there you go. And there you have the answers are all of them correct. Okay, so just remember, this is important to remember the distance are those ones is substituting the plural genes. Okay, and when you have options, Look at how many options you have. Blue ones, light blue ones, uh, light green, purple, green, kind of ye yellow, yellow, no, yellow red. red, purple. Okay, you have many, many, many options. That's why you say which ones, okay? If, if this lady says, show me those genes, show me those genes, and then this lady say, which ones? Uh, the purple ones, okay, the purple ones, okay? And then the man said, here, show me a backpack, or show me the backpack, which one? Okay, you can say the brown one, the green one, the light blue one, okay, or the gray one, okay? That's it. Okay, good. I think it's kind of clear now. And then it says, listen to sentence, sentences stress in order to improve pronunciation, okay? This is for repetition. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then <coughs> practice as many times as needed. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, good. Very attractive. Okay, Benjamin? Yes? Tell me the, read the sentence, the phrases that you can see here. Excuse me, look at this one. When you see the big round uh, ball here, you say, excuse me. Yes. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay, so this is like the stress, attractive, not, blue, per, use. Okay, now read them. I read. Yep, all of them. Excuse me. They, they, perfect, perfect. Perfect. I like the blue one. Okay. They know they are not very attractive. All right, very good, excellent. Okay, Arely. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. 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 Thank you, Eva. 
Can you read him, please? Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, thank you, Tamara. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Thank you. Leslie. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue ones. They are not very attractive. Okay, good. Javier? Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. I like the they blue are one. not very attractive. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now... <clears throat> okay, now look at the, I don't know, do you have the conversation? Can you see the conversation in your computer? Uh, let me check. Or we, I'm just going to send you a, an image. So that we can practice Okay, you're going to practice a similar conversation, right? To this, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Say, which ones do you mean? Okay, you're going to make two conversations, one in plural and one in, si in, one in singular, okay? Practice it, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Excuse me, how much are those shoes? You can change this one, right? And, and then you say, how much? I like that shirt. I like that car over there. How much is it? Okay, one in singular and one in plural. And I don't know if it is going to let me. No, I don't think so. But let's, let's give it a try. More or less, I check in the, no, it's not going to work. Okay, so then uh, if you can take a, a screenshot of this one, okay, so that you can practice in the groups. I'm going to make a group so that you can make the two conversations short and easy, right? All you have to do is to change this word. For a plural one, you can use here, shoes, uh, pants, sweaters, uh, in plural, right? You can use uh, earrings, rings, okay? And here you can use, a, instead of backpack, you can use a t-shirt, you can use a pen, uh, you, you can use car, notebook, computer, one object in singular. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna make only two groups for you to prepare the conversation in 10 minutes, okay? So here we go. Teacher, yes, um, please 
put the expression um, other. How do you say it again? Again? Yes. Okay, what expression? Um, the sentence. What sentence? Um, the conversation. Ah, you want to see this one? Mm -hmm. This one? Yes. Thank you. Okay. 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 Now join the group and prepare the conversations. Okay, people, no questions? Um, More or less. <laughs> What's the question? Remember that in one conversation, eh, uno es el vendedor, el otro es el comprador, right? Plural, and the one, and you can do the other one. And uno es el vendedor y el otro el comprador, similar to the ones. One in singular and one in plural. Okay, yo soy el comprador. Okay, yeah. I fear, I fear. Excuse me. Please. Excuse me, Tamara. <laughs> how much, how much are those, those uh, shoes? Uh, which one uh, do you mean this? <laughs> Ahí creo que no cambiaría porque te le estás diciendo que si te refieres a esto. Ajá, pero dice, do you mean it? Yes, como es que, do you mean it? No, no sé qué significa do you mean. Tú me dices, tú, tú dices esto, algo así. Tú dices esto, ajá, ok. Ajá. Sí. Yo te estoy diciendo, tú dices estos. Mm -hmm. Bueno, desde el inicio, excuse me, how much are those uh, shoes? Which ones do you mean this? Uh, yes, the blue ones. Yes, the like. Uh, el precio me bajará. Yes, pero tú dijiste yes. Yes. The, ¿Sí? Yes. The, the, blue, the blue ones. Dice, dices tú, oh, they are, y el precio. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm -hmm. they are, um, Vamos a dar a... 
Okay. Over there, how much is it? Which one? Uh, the black ones. Is twenty seven point fifty, but the blue, the blue Black. one is on, only twenty two point fifty five. Okay, thank you. Okay, ready, teacher. Okay. 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 One more time. Excuse. How much it is? Oh, yes, yes. I like that sweater. Over here, how much it is? Cuántos cuestan esto? How much? How much with it? How much? It, how how much it? It 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 is it is. It is. Mm -hmm. For example, I like I like the um. Digamos con los, con los mismos zapatos. <laughs> I like the shoes over there. How much, how much it is? Your turn, Tamara. Excuse me. I, I, I ask. I like the shoes over there. How much it is? How, how um, much are they or how much how, how much, much are, are they, they? Mm -hmm. are they it's yes. plural mm -hmm. uh -huh. which ones mm -hmm. which one the i like that watch watch You can say the blue ones, the blue ones, the red ones, the brown ones, the yellow, uh -huh, the black ones, the, the big, the, the black. choose, choose um, is plural. Yes. Oh, uh, but unless it's you, a, it's, a, it's a one, it's a pair. There's a pair of shoes. A pair, a, a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Very. A pair of shoes. Me lo puede poner en, en el chat. You say a pair of shoes, a pair, one pair. Here. Mm -hmm. You say a pair. A pair a of shoes. A pair of shoes. But that's different, right? A pair and then you have shoes. But you ask shoes. And they say which ones, the red ones, the blue ones. Uh -huh. But you can use a pair of shoes, no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's singular, singular, uh -huh. a pair of shoes. Exactly. A shoes, singular. No, no shoes, only shoes. Uh, only shoes. Mm -hmm. only because shoes. I is for singular. Okay. All right. Okay. No questions, no problem? No problem, teacher. 
Marilis. Marilis, no problem? Yes, problem. <laughs> What's the problem, Marilis? I don't remember the sentence. Ah, no, you don't have to remember the sentence. You just have to improvise. Okay, don't worry. Improvise. Okay. So let's see what... Let me see. Here we go. Okay, now, okay, now you're going to try to tell me your conversations, right, that you practiced, okay. Uh -huh. Benjamin, which one were you practicing? Tell me. Your microphone. Yes, okay. You were okay. practicing with Tamara, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Tamara, excuse me. How much are those shoes? And which ones do you mean this? Yes, the blue ones. Uh, oh, they are 45. 85. Uh, okay. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Easy. <laughs> this, is, this is just in plural, right? And okay. remember, remember, Benjamin, if, if you want to use a pair of shoes, how much is that pair of shoes? And it's similar, right? It's similar. But you're talking about a pair. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, who was the other one? Who else? Leslie, who were you practicing with? From Benjamin. Okay. The, um, Arely. Okay. <laughs> Arely too. Okay, good. Arely, you want to try? Yes. Okay. Um, excuse me. Leslie. How much um, dress? How much is? How much? Uh, how much is that dress? Dress. How, how much is that dress? Is that dress? Mm -hmm. Which one? The red? The red dress? The red one? The red one? Exactly. You Remember, you don't use dress anymore. Mm -hmm. It's singular. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Um, I like this. Uh -huh. I like that sweet sweater over there. Okay, then Leslie, wait, wait, Leslie, she wants to finish the first conversation and then you said, uh, which one? Uh, Arely, she said, the blue one, you say yes or no? Aha, uh -huh, okay. Um, which? No, she said no. which one. And which now you tell her which color do you prefer? Um... I, I like the uh, blue one. The blue one, red okay. One. The red one. one. Uh -huh. Leslie, tell her the price. Okay, that dress, uh, that one is, how much? That, 
That one is $37. Perfect. That's right. That one's $37. Okay. Finish the conversation. Okay. Now, Leslie, you say, I like that sweater or something, right? Mm -hmm. I like that sweater. I like that, that sweater over there. Okay. Very good. Okay. I like that sweater over there. Okay. Good. And then Benjamin, what do you answer? The microphone mic, uh, Benjamin. Repeat me. I like that sweater over there. I like that sweater over there. Why oh, like that sweater? Sweater. Mm -hmm. sweater. Uh -huh, the sweater, look, sweater, the sweater. Uh -huh. What is your question? Um, no, yes. it's easier. No, okay. <laughs> Harley, what is the question? Uh, uh, which? How much? No, uh huh? Which yes, uh, one? Which one? Okay, Leslie, which one? one? Do you mean? Mm -hmm. Leslie? The answer is uh, I like. Uh, no, this is the conversation. Now, Leslie, she says, oh, okay. which one? Which one? Now, Leslie, you tell her your choice. Hello. Hello, Leslie. Huh? Who says yellow? The red one. Okay, the red one. The red one. And then, Harley, you how, say. How you much is it? Uh -huh. How much is it? Um, they are? It is, only one. Uh, they have a. Uh, it is. It is. It is. Um, city five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Okay, very good. Okay, and the last conversation, Javier and Romeo. Do you have one? Okay. Excuse me, Javier. How much are those the shirt? Yes. How much are Which those shirts? One? Once. Which ones do you meet this? Uh, no. The, the black ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are sixty dollars. Hey. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like that. It's a polo shirt, right? Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. It's Nautica. In Nautica, maybe also, right? It's maybe very expensive. That cost. <laughs> okay, another one, yes. Okay, people, then uh, practice these conversations for tomorrow, okay? Because the which ones and everything, tomorrow we're going to have a, at the beginning another practice with conversations using singular plural, okay? It was good, it was yeah. good. Don't worry, it was nice. The only thing is that it needs more practice, right? More practice. Yes, Arely. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, in class, um, Last class? Last class. Mm -hmm. uh, complete, I complete the sentence when you use um, verbs to be um, uh, in positive and negative. Mm -hmm. But the response um, is, isn't incorrect. Isn't, isn't in negative. Yes. And um, all 
exercise. Um, how do you say? Me da mala la respuesta. That's incorrect. Es incorrect. In which, in which exercise? Um, when you say I am not. Um, Pero en qué, en qué sección y en qué? Two. One point eleven. Uh, Section two eleven. In, yes. When you use positive and negative, use verbs to be. Por acá. This one? Yes. And this, no, no, no. This 211. Or this one? No. This prepositions? To eight? No. To seven? No. The other class? To six? Eleven. No, but it's not section two. For this example, no, lo que ella se refiere al examen. Ah, and exam. En el examen está. Ah, okay. Creo que es el B. This is three. Well, if it is the exam. It's the other class. So it must be here. Yes. B. Oops. Wait, there is this kind of a slow. This one? Similar. Is that electricity? No. 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 Okay. Um, but uh, the teacher um, is from the. Um, como la segunda clase, pero ya okay. lo respondí. Va, entonces, este, hagamos una cosa, identifíquelo bien, uh -huh. y mañana el nomás inicia la clase, vemos, y, y arrancamos con eso. El okay. 1.12, creo. 1.12. A mí me ha salido mal. Ajá. Por cierto. I respond. <ríe> sí, es, es, es cuando es la afirmativa y negativa en... Use verse to... Largo. This one? Yes. Pero yo sí lo tengo. Eh, puede hacer, mire, puede hacer alguna coma. Y hay varias opciones que pueden haberse equivocado. Puede ser que tengan puesto una coma, un punto. Estas son todas las que acepta. Puede ser que con una cosita que no tenga de estas, eh, puede ser que vean bien cuál es la que ustedes han utilizado. Ok. Porque si le falta una coma, ah, por ejemplo aquí esta está no es am not. Eh, si usaron contracción acá. Ajá. O sea, sin contracciones. O sea, todas estas son las posibles respuestas. Ok, teacher. Si hay alguna de estas, si hay algo que hayan hecho diferente a esto, se lo va a tomar mal, aunque... O sí. si escribieron mal una palabra, eh, habría que ver exactamente cuál es la que escribieron. ¿Saben qué? Lo que podemos hacer es escribanlas mañana en una, lo que ustedes han escrito, 
Uh -huh. Y en el, mañana en el chat lo ponen y podemos comparar. Ok, teacher. Ok, Thank para you. que, para, porque aquí lo otro es esto. Si coma, look, this one. Por ejemplo, acá, si yo le quito acá, mire el punto. Entonces, cuando yo le dé aquí, submit. Miren, oh. me, me sale mal. Ok. Con solo el punto, yo no pongo. Con solo, ajá, sí. only. Si yo aquí only. le quito la coma, entonces le doy submit. Then, ya tengo dos malas. Ok. Sí, creo que vamos a ver con la capital letter. Ya ni me la sé. <risa> ok. Así ah, fue. Está bueno. Probado, es, probado, es, no, me decía el colmo. Me. Te la pone buena, teacher, aunque la tenga mala. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí la. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así me la puso buena, mira. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, tal vez you are, we are. I not eh, put the pun. The period. Ajá, ahí está, mira, le quité la E, por ejemplo, al R, ahí sí ya no. Ajá. Ok. Entonces, un detallito de eso que no está. Entonces, asegúrense que lleve la coma. Y el punto. Yeah, si usan la contracción, que usen, aquí han usado la contracción correcta. Ahí no. Okay. No voy a contractar aquí not, porque también se la va a marcar mal, aunque yo le, le vuelvo a poner aquí el period. Me la volverá a marcar mala porque no pueden ir dos contracciones. Yes. Ok. Then, esa me la volvió a marcar mal. Ok. okay. El, punto, el punto le hacía falta. Uh -huh. Pueden ser okay. periods, comas, en el staff. Ok. Sí. Son detallitos a veces, pero está bueno. Eso es lo que necesito que me digan todos los días. Y que no se atrasen por un detalle que no, que no, okay. es, de, no es de estructura, sino que es un... Sí, puntos. Un, no, ajá, es una cuestión de... De puntuación, right? Ok. Nada, nada que ver con el aprendizaje del idioma. Ok, okay perfect. Thank you, teacher. No, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you very you. much. I will see you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow. Ok, have good a good night. night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye.